one um, consumer tip uh, we have here is a consumer tip or is the green sweetener on the labels did you know that one teaspoon of sugar equals four grams of sugar manufacturers may try to disguise uh, uh, sweeteners by adding healthy sounding words to them such as fruit rice refined organic and all uh, here are some other sweeteners to watch for packaging okay so uh, sometimes they disguise the sweeteners you know disguise is no Disguise. Disguise means to cover or hide. They hide sweeteners. They will not. They will not tell you that this, this is sugar. That this is fruit sugar, okay, or rice sugar. Sometimes they they, they add some some healthy sounding words to them, such as fruit, rice, refined, organic, or raw. But all of them mean sugar. So. Be careful about these sweeteners. This is the warning that the, the site is telling you. For example, they, they, they write the word syrup. You know syrup? Yeah. Yes. Like, like maple syrup. Maple syrup yeah. means sugar. It doesn't make any difference. It's a syrup anyway. Uh, words ending in O-S-E, like uh, sucrose, like fructose, or glucose. All of them are sugar. Sugar. Fruit juice or cane juice, also sugar. You know cane? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Metal jar, like metal container. Pardon? No, it's can. It's cane. The cane. Uh, and is uh, is oh, long? Yeah, yeah. Is is wrong? Some kind of sugar. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the plant. It's the yeah, it's a plant. plant. It's a kind of plant. plant. I do not have a picture here to show you. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, let me. See. Oh, here, here. For example, oh, it's one. Cuba. Cuba have the lot of the. Yeah. Okay. They have got lots of. They make sugar out yeah, of it, it's... like this one. This is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, this one, this one. Yeah. The Persian is ne shaker. Yeah, that's that's, 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 right. that's the thing. That's sugar cane. Okay, so it's the main source of sugar. So it doesn't make any difference. It's it says cane or uh, cane fruit, whatever it is. It means it is sugar. So cane juice, the same as sugar. Molasses, you know molasses. Yes. Yeah. Losses. Uh, it's product. Yeah, from it's uh, it's uh, not uh, black. Black. product of uh, beer when they want to produ produce beer. Very good. They use it as a kind of, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see what they say about molasses. I'm not sure how to explain it. Molasses or black trees, treacle in British English is a, a, vis a viscous uh, product resulting from refining sugar cane or sugar beets into sugar. So molasses varies by amount of sugar. So uh, different kinds of molasses, you have the picture, these are called, these are molasses. Yes, it's and, uh, red. Yeah, it's quite very sweet. Yes, so it's a kind of sweetener as well, anyway. So sweetener, uh, dextrin, and barley malt. Okay. So these are the different words they use instead of uh, sugar, just to mislead the consumers. All of them are talking about the same product. Dextrin. What is dextrin, please? What is dextrin? Any idea? Dextrin. No. Of course, we have dextrin malt. Dextrins mm -hmm. are a group of low molecule, molecular weight carbohydrates produced by the uh, hydro, 
hydrolysis of uh, starch or uh, uh, Glycogen. Yes. Uh, dextrins are mixtures of poly, uh, uh, polymers of D glucose, uh, D glucose units linked by alpha one to four. I don't know this 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 chem, chem, chem yeah, it's terms. Uh, and the uh, glycose uh, glycoside thick. Bonds. I have always problem with this uh, chemistry terms. Is it Chemical. artificial artificial sugar? Yeah, it should be some kind of artificial sugar. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you. Uh, if I can find any other information here. Uh, yeah, I know that it's just kind of sugar, some kind of artificial sugar made in the laboratories. Yeah. So that's the extreme. Like a saccharin. Like saccharin. Yeah. Saccharin oh. is used usually for those diabetes patients, but uh, this one is not even used by these patients. So let's go to comprehension to see if you have got uh, points. Uh, why is it important for consumers to look at the back or side of a package? Because uh, they have to pay attention what they are eating. Mm -hmm. they and eat. they will tell you exactly what they uh, include. Mm -hmm. they, the ingredients. The yeah, you can understand that. Uh, what uh, ingredients in it, and uh, you can choice. Yeah, and you know they say something on the front, but in the back or on the side, it is totally different. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Yes. For example, about milk, I can say it was my own experience. Uh, they say low-fat milks is only one person. On the front, it writes one a big one percent. Fat, okay, but if you look at the back of the package, you will find out that it, it has got four grams of fat, but it says only one person, so it is only the person, not not the not the fat, the real fat that they're telling you, okay. So even even zero fats may may have some fat in them. So what common allergens? do food labels usually identify? Nuts, nuts, nuts seafood, milk, milk, uh, milk, 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 uh, milk, yeah. milk, eggs. Eggs, eggs. yes, some eggs. people are allergic to eggs. So why is it important to look at the serving size on a food package? Uh, because the amount they say is about one serving size, not all bottle or all can or or why all that. Sometimes it is it is the whole bottle they are talking about, but you can see that one serving size may just uh, uh, low amount, low amount of this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh Sam, about the serving size. I have a little uh, misconfused. Uh, one serving side means uh, just one for one person. Two serving side for two person, right? Yes. So serving size is it is the amount of, uh, for example, food or the amount of uh, uh, liquids that you drink or you eat. That is called serving size. For example, if uh, you buy one liter of uh, uh, milk, how many serving size, how many glasses of milk can you have? Oh, about four. About four, okay? So that is the yeah. serving size. So you have four uh, glasses of milk. That's your oh. serving size. Did oh. you get that? Yes, I understand. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So why does a reading mention a chocolate bar? Yeah, chocolate bar have a lot of uh, sugar. sugar bar. Yeah. It compares it with? Normal chocolate. No. What, 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 does, what does the text compare it with? 
granola bars. Granola bars. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Granola. Yeah. An example of yeah. granola bars, yeah. which are uh, which are compared with the chocolate bar, they have yes. the same amount of sugar. Same amount of sugar. Yes. Uh, which food products are often exempt from food label laws? Alcohol. Alcohol? Uh, yeah. Yes. Fresh, fresh fruit. Uh, fresh, fresh, uh, fresh fruit. and uh, uh, no. like a sandwich. Uh, sugar, sodium, alcohol. Alcohol in some of the countries, not all of the countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Uh, Totally fresh food, fresh vegetable, fresh meat, yeah. and the food that they produce for uh, using that time, uh, they are exempt for food label. Often exempt from food label. Um, fast food, yeah, fast food. Yes, fresh food usually are exempt from food label laws. So, we have no problem with this part. Let's go back to the lessons. Do you have any questions for me? Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to grammar review. Uh, recommend, suggest, and advise. Remember, we talked about them before, but now we are talking about another point of view for, for these, these uh, recommendations or suggestions. Uh, do you share uh, uh, food recommendations with your friends and family members? You can use the verbs recommend, suggest, and advise. To suggest uh, a place or thing, we can say recommend, suggest, advise, plus a noun. So this is, this is the first use of recommend, suggest, and advise. We can use these verbs plus a noun or plus an object, like my mom recommended this low-fat cereal, or the chef suggests the vegetarian special. The nutritionist advises a light breakfast. So it is advises a light breakfast. It says that it is more for, uh, formal. So this is one use, you know that. Is, is, the, is the easiest one that you can have. The second one, the second use of uh, recommend and suggest and advice is to recommend an activity. So here, usually we use recommend, suggest and advice plus a gerund. You know, plus a gerund means plus a verb plus ing, okay? For example, uh, my mommy recommended buying this low fat cereal, okay? Recommended buying this low fat cereal. Or the chef suggested ordering this vegetarian special. The nutritionist advises eating a light breakfast. Okay? So we can use uh, the verb recommend, suggest, advise, plus a verb plus ing. Okay? This is a giraffe. Am I clear? Yes. 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 No. These verbs are interchangeable when followed by a noun or a or giraffe. Okay, so you can use all of them, all of these verbs to recommend something or to recommend doing something. Okay, so let's practice. It was an easy grammar point for you. Uh, look at the sentence. Did you, did, did your friend the whole grain or multi-grain bread? Recommend, suggesting, advice. Recommend. 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 Yes, because you have to eat, eat, so we cannot use advice. Yeah. My nutritionist, uh, my nutritionist advises organic uh, produce by eating. 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 Very good. I lowering your sugar intake. Advising. Suggest. Suggest. I suggest lowering your sugar intake. We don't recommend new vegetarian restaurant on First Street. Going. 